Hey, all nachos here, a little corny and cheesy. It's just Evan. A couple of weeks ago, I had a very deep philosophical slash theological conversation with someone that lasted well over two and a half hours, pushing three, I think, by the time it was said and done. But if I had to sum it up in three minutes or less, which is the goal, it would be the difference between reality and truth. Reality is based on our subjective experience, our sensory organs, etc., our ability to process, assimilate, and apply new information. Um, for example, I didn't always have corrective lenses. I didn't always have moderate hearing loss. I didn't always have a drop foot. Um, my ability to process and incorporate, assimilate, and apply new information has changed as the incoming information has changed. About as I look through this universe through this coffee straw or this semi binocular optics, as it is, that will impact my worldview based on my ability to process the incoming information. It's a very subjective experience. Truth, on the other hand, is objectively true because it's true. Here's where I'm going with that. I, I, I may not always perceive what is on the other side of the veil. And what I mean by that was, is if you're dealing with the spiritual side of things, you may not always see through that veil. Some people are given that, um, be able to see that other side for a moment, for an instant. Sometimes it's part of their ministry, you know, as a deliverance ministry. Sometimes it's part of discernment um, to know what exactly you're working with. But the point is, as we wrestle in this life, in these water bags, looking through these, you know, balls of goo, for example, if we have them available to us, our, our experience is subjective. We are the sum of our experiences. We're more than that. But our life experience is just that. It's, it's the experience of our life and how we assimilate information. That's the reality. <clears throat> On the other side of that is the truth. And for that, I'm going to point to Ephesians 6. Um, if you look at Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 18, it describes the armor of God and the reason for the armor of God. 6.12 specifically explains that it's not against... It, it's, it's not against... We don't wrestle against flesh. I don't know what translation you use. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, right? It's against principalities and powers, wickedness in high places, um, spiritual wickedness in high places against evil and, and the powers of darkness. Again, I don't know what translation you use. That's a paraphrase of about four different translations right there, just to give you a for instance. But reality and truth, the difference of subjective experience versus objective truth, put on the armor of God. It's a spiritual battle, always has been. Always will. Love you. Bye for now.